Still dry in Kansas City, but that is likely to change this afternoon. Matt Hollander is tracking the storms that are coming our way. Hey, Matt. Yeah, and unfortunately, we've got our first severe thunderstorm warning of the day. This is for Atchison and Holt County in northwest Missouri. So the very far northwestern corner of our viewing area, but we don't want to forget about you folks up there. Uh, get ready. Heavy rain, lightning, and what this warning is being issued for is the possibility of 60 mile per hour wind gusts and some quarter size hail as well. So as expected, the rain chance has begun and we just expect more of this to be popping up as we go through the afternoon. Uh, that's why the northwestern portion of our viewing area is under severe thunderstorm watch and the entire view area in an outlook for severe weather. That's the step before a severe thunderstorm watch. So everyone today has a chance of seeing damaging wind and hail. But one thing we do want to stress is the threat is higher to the west and smaller to the east. So the farther east you live in Missouri, the smaller your chance of seeing heavy rain, damaging wind and hail. But the farther to the west you live, particularly folks living in Kansas, that's where the biggest threat for seeing damaging wind and hail is. That's what these three different shades mean. That's an increasing threat for damaging wind and hail and also heavy rain. So you zoom in and notice how the, uh, the level three and level two threat pretty much bisects Kansas City. Uh, so this is an increasing threat for severe weather at this point. Uh, we're going to say medium though, because we don't want you to think that it's going to be widespread damaging wind and hail. But at this point, we do anticipate that there is going to be some quarter size hail. There could be wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. That's what we're most concerned about. If I had to pick the biggest threat, it's probably going to be a damaging straight line winds. And again, the greatest threat in Kansas, the farther east you live, the smaller chance of seeing those damaging wind. What will probably be seen by more than anything is not hail or wind, but heavy rain. And though it's, this is going to be a pretty fast moving system, we're not going to be dealing with heavy rain for a long amount of time. You get heavy rain for about an hour and that can drop one to two inches of rain and cause some minor street flooding. And as we know, with the timing here, uh, with it probably moving over the metro area around five o'clock, that's going to be a, a mess for the homebound commute. One more thing I want to mention, the chance for a tornado is not zero, but it is very low. I'm not overly concerned with that. I'm more concerned about the heavy rain and damaging straight line winds. So here's your latest hour by hour forecast. Here's two o'clock this afternoon, completely covering the northwestern part of the viewing area at that point. Kansas City, still probably dry here. I think that changes as we get into that four or five o'clock hour when everybody's hitting the road. So this is a heads up right now. If you can avoid being on the road around four or five o'clock, I, I strongly recommend it. Otherwise, give yourself plenty of time because you're probably going to be slowed down. It's looking more and more likely that there's at least going to be heavy rain around. There's six o'clock starting to shift to the south. I think the severe threat is over by eight o'clock, but still some lingering rain through the early evening hours. Finally, completely dry by 3 a.m. So you're probably wondering, are we going to be dealing with rain all weekend? No, after tonight, it's over. Mostly cloudy to start the day tomorrow but then mostly sunny in the afternoon, a little bit cooler as well. We won't have those feels like temperatures around 100 degrees anymore. That humidity will be dropping. Now we are going to be back around 90 on Sunday, but again, humidity still not too bad. Sunny skies. If I had to pick the best day this week, I'll give a slight edge to Saturday. Angie. Okay.